do it right now. Okay. Are, you are loud. I was like, why am I hearing the same thing? <laughs> That's why. Good morning. Happy Catch Your Friday. Good morning, everyone. Are we giving away all of those? This is one prize. And then we have the other two. Yes. Okay. Thing I, I wanted to call them for the other two. You hear that Facebook Live? You're getting some inside information sneaky, sneaky, here. Sneaky peeky. Sneaky sneaky. All right. Oh, too many things at one time. It's okay. No, not you. Me over here. I was laughing at the delay. You didn't hear it? I, 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 of course I heard it. Okay. Good morning, Sandra. I'm pulling it up. Hi, Sandra. You're one of our favorites. I meant to grab my cup because I knew I was going to get my tea this morning and I didn't grab it. Oh, let me silence. It would have matched my microphone and my cat ears today. I know. I should have had the ones with the little turquoise over here. We can switch. No, on. it's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess up the. <laughs> We're both her favorite. <laughs> Good morning, Dad. I know I'm your favorite today. No. I love his new profile oh, picture. God. It cracks me up. I saw it yesterday. I was laughing. It reminds me of a character from Spy vs. Spy for some reason. I had to do a double take to see who it was. You ready? I think him and Jace are competing for the biggest beard. Oh no. Yes, I'm ready. Welcome to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Straub. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and Facebook Live, courtesy of FTS Automotive. Yes, if you do not currently follow us on Facebook Live, we encourage you to do so. It's a way to see what goes on behind the scenes when Z93, Outlaw Country, and MonsterMediaYuma.com all go to commercial break. Jennifer and I stay live the entire hour. And if you... Um, listen carefully sometimes you'll hear the chitter chatter between us and you'll get some sneak peeks on what we're giving away and how we're going to give it away we have some awesome prizes today yes today is not only just a full day for the show yes have, it's gonna be a fun day we have a big old <laughs> stack of prizes we're giving away mm -hmm. now right off the bat it's catch shirt friday mm -hmm. and you are rocking your humane society do you my shirt yes i am i have my um almost slightly inappropriate cat in the pocket t-shirt okay it is appropriate. I, I keep it, trying to turn around because anita had to flip the switch it is inappropriate when you pull a little pocket there you go. no he, he's doing thumbs up <laughs> oh yeah thumbs up both of his thumbs are sticking out because cat, cats have thumbs they do they do <laughs> well catch on friday get your entries in all you need to do is share a selfie of you and a pet or just a google image in or a random cat yeah just if it's a neighbor make sure that it's you have permission or something along well, those we'll lines we'll even take We'll even take the little cat emojis because I know they have some really cute ones out there. Yes, too. we have. We've had past winners. That yes. had, they had like the emoji wearing a cat shirt. Cat shirt. And and so there, there you go. Lots of ways. All you need to do is you can either text them to 928 343 0993 by noon. Mm -hmm. I posted my weekly selfie with my cat Rodimus. You can, you can comment under that and add yours there mm -hmm. or just message it to us. We have lots of ways. We compile them all after 12 o'clock hits yes. and we put them in a bucket and a random person draws a random winner. Exactly. And, you know, like you said, you can message to them, you know, either myself or Jennifer on Facebook. You can uh, message the station on Facebook. If you go to monstermediayuma.com, down on the bottom of the homepage, you will find our email addresses. You can do that there. That's right. Now, coming up on the show today, our first guest will be from Savor Fresh Country Store. They have yeah. a, a big grand opening event coming up that we're going to be talking about. Mm -hmm. Then we have... Foodie Delicious Friday, and Janice will be popping in with her sweet treats for the week. Was it sweet? I yeah, she. I think she had. Yeah, we, you know, we have some guests coming in, um, and so she wanted to make sure there was going to be enough for everybody. So I think she brought some fruit and pastries and things today. Um, but she's also going to be letting us know who won the twenty-five dollar gift certificate to two fifty-one. That's right. And then wrapping things up in the last segment of the hour, we will have one of our favorite local monster groups. We love them all, but the Cryptone Classics. Yeah. Yes, the Cryptones have, have been um, on multiple parade floats with us. <laughs> yes, you know, they're a big supporter of what we're doing for the local music scene. And, uh, you know, they've been with us since the beginning. 
and um, they're they're a great bunch of guys. But they have an album release party coming up tonight, and they're also going to give us a little intimate little um, performance out in our courtyard too. So what we'll do is we'll actually you know we'll start it off in here, and then uh, we'll actually end the the live feed to start a new one because it's usually been giving us a time of only like an hour actually right. being what? able to record at a time. So we'll start another one, but you definitely don't want to miss today's show. Not one, but you'll have two live feeds. Exactly. All right. Now, for Catch Your Friday, your prize will include. We have this really cool gift set courtesy of Advocate Pest and Wildlife Services. Yes. We love Sandra and Brittany and their staff. They are just the nicest people. Now, Teresa, do you recall what is in this prize pack here? So, there is some awesome cookies that are hand painted i believe it's cast reed that's right cast reed cookies and um i did not get to, to eat them yesterday but both my the boys in my family did and they <laughs> love them yes. um there is a chapstick there is a cool coffee mug i like it because it's square it's a little bit different but there's also a gift certificate in there i believe it's worth 95 dollars um, for free service peace pest control service um, with advocate pest and wildlife services that's an awesome deal okay yeah. so your cat shirt friday prize will include the advocate prize pack also a ten dollar gift certificate from Catherine's cupcakery mm -hmm. a little cat water bottle it is for <laughs> humans love, yeah you know what eli loves them we also have a $25 gift certificate from Oriental House of Yuma. Mm. And oil change from FTS Automotive valued up to $34.95. And so and you can go out and party tonight. <laughs> yeah, for this part, you have to be at least 21. But it all comes in your prize pack. Mm -hmm. We have four tickets to the You Got... Hang on, I can't <laughs> see that far. You Got Lucky tribute to Tom Petty. It is at Coca Pa Casino in the River Room. Mm -hmm. Again, four tickets for that. So, all right, I need someone to do the math. $95. Plus ten dollars, plus twenty five dollars, plus thirty four ninety five, plus one sixty five. Go forty dollars. Uh, two o five ish. Ish. That's the value ish of your prize today. <laughs> now, because of the concert tickets, you do have to be at least twenty one to enter this for today. Yes. Get your entries in by noon. Again, multiple ways where you can send those in. And we've also got some of the other advocate prize packs we will be giving away throughout the hour. So yes. definitely stay tuned. stay tuned. Those will be call-ins. Yes. So Bootylicious Janice will uh, sit in as Bonylicious Janice. P-H-O <laughs> and E, not, there's no Y at the end, really. It's phone I-E. Get yes. those uh, fingers ready to dial and enter these contests today. Again, a very full show. Today is January 5th. And today's National Screenwriters Day. Okay. Oh, a very important job. Yes, it is. it is. It is. They provide entertainment for many of us. It's also National Bird Day. Oh. Bird. Yes. Do you have a favorite? I know your son has a pet bird. Yeah, and that's probably my favorite bird because he's... I, uh, he, she, she likes me the best, I think, out of the whole family. <laughs> um, it's a... Co cockatiel? Cockatiel. cockatiel? Yeah. Yeah, cockatiel. That's yeah. what my I, has. I love hummingbirds. But I've also had oh, the yeah. opportunity in the White Mountains area. There's an eagle preserve not too far from where my in-laws used to live. Really? Yes, it was uh, around the Luna Lake area, which is on the New Mexico side of the state line. Yeah. And we, we were in, obviously, a very rural area in the mountains. And uh, one of the eagles would come, and it would just hang out on a telephone pole. I would stay there for hours taking pictures of this eagle. That is so cool, it, though. They're such beautiful, majestic animals. But... Um, my mother-in-law's boyfriend, Bill, would, they enjoy just sitting on the porch for, yeah. for hours on end and watching the hummingbirds. But uh, Bill would tell me the eagles would come because around his property, it was this big meadow area. Uh -huh. He would have to mow the lawn, which was huge. And, but the eagles would come in and they'd get snakes and little rodents and mm -hmm. stuff. And he would see wow. them kind of come in, that is super grab cool. their prey and, and take off. But because of the proximity, it was quiet out there. Uh -huh. Now I believe right now it's bald eagle nesting season and there are several restrictions in place. They are recommending that people, there are restrictions as far as how low any aircraft can fly and within what proximity wow. to these preserves. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of rules in so place. So are we going to get to watch some uh, little bald eagle hatchlings again like you know, last year <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind it it's fun it was fun, and, fun. It, and we did we um it was actually you know we followed it for a little i followed it for a little bit because i was in it's interesting to see you know well, you it, don't, ha it happens see quicker than that dang giraffe oh if I, was that giraffe ever born yeah uh, <laughs> she, i think she's pregnant again I, I gave up on that one but you know we are fortunate in our area we see a lot of hawks yes mm -hmm. my, thank my you for the hawks 
What's, what's that? Thank you for the hawks because they uh, help with our pigeon population. Oh, yeah, they help oh, with yes, our pigeon do. and other little rodents, too. My mother-in-law lives out in the county, and there's one that frequents that area in the trees, and um, he is beautiful. And they I are. know, and I, and I, I, you know, one of those things where we get to see a lot of this wildlife here, and people are like, hawks, really? I'm like, yeah, yeah it's a we, hawk. We get a variety of things. Hummingbirds are awesome here, too, though. Yeah. Yesterday when I went to lunch, driving down 8th Street, I was headed east, and I saw about three different hawks circling. So there, wow. must, there must have been either a good amount of roadkill nearby yeah, on one yeah. of the side streets, yeah. or they were definitely targeting something. But um, I hope it wasn't any of our cats oh. down here because there are a lot, of, a lot of cats in this area. Yeah, you and know. we thought that the, uh, the other day we actually were thought one of the hawks had gotten one of the little uh, baby chickens out at the neighbor's yard from my mother-in-law because oh. they were going crazy. And I don't know if they were just going crazy because they had saw him in the area, right. but then we didn't see him. We're like, oh, my goodness, I hope he didn't swoop down and take one of the little baby chickens. <laughs> well, uh, speaking of Catcher Friday, yes. I know that Figaro has become a fixture as one of our little mascots here at the station. <laughs> he he lives in close proximity, and I've kind of taken him under my wing since it's National you Birthday. You paw? Yeah, my, my paw, my paw. <laughs> it's and birthday and Catcher Friday. Figaro <laughs> is in the process process of we're being responsible yes. and he is being altered today yes he is he's <laughs> gonna come back a whole different man and that's how they'll anita's giggling that's how they, they refer to them too if you're if, being altered if you're adopting yeah. an altered and 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 all the animals that have to you know be spayed or neutered yes definitely. When, when you're adopting them from the humane society of Yuma. but but yes figaro was down there and the twin siamese yes. are there too we're trying to cut down on the overpopulation and or, you know the area that we're in uh, it's a breeding ground mm -hmm. you know i i love um the organization I, I, feline friends over at uh, the humane society of yuma when we were dropping off the cats this morning um you know they they help you maintain um feral cat colonies and things like that but there was a quite a few cats being dropped off and and i was amazed at the amount and, and these these lovely ladies that that trap these ones i have to give you kudos because <laughs> I, I know it's not an easy thing to do but it's nice to see and it, it's nice to have an organization like that that um that is able to it, help that it problem. sure is and you know they're run primarily on volunteers but we want to give a huge shout out to all you know the the vets and the support staff that are making all these happen we, we do we want to encourage people please be responsible pet owners Mm -hmm. and adopt rather than buy there's still a yes. lot of things popping up online people are selling animals here and there but you know b before you consider going that route I know some people are looking for pure purebreds they want yeah. papered animals but you know make the consideration to save a life right here in the Yuma community yes real quick I'd like to say good morning to all of our Facebook live viewers this morning I know your dad was watching ace good morning your sister sister Chrissy is watching Mary Jane a B Lisa she says happy hello happy cat show Friday where are your ears they've been giving me a headache with <laughs> their headbands and their metal so behind the ears it kind of presses on there so I haven't been wearing them Sandra ace the other ace <laughs> my brother and my dad it's a family reunion <laughs> and Mary Jane says yeah, uh, YPD has vouchers for the city residents to save money on cat and dog altering. Call YPD Animal Control for details. That's right. And I know they, they received a grant, and it's for a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, I've given them a call right away because I know they go pretty quickly. Yes, they do. So if you're interested in getting animals spayed or neutered, that is def definitely the way to go. Yes. Now, we also see that Andy says, Happy New Year, ladies, right back at you. Yes, Happy New Year. And we want to thank you all for both listening on the radio or streaming online or watching us on Facebook Live. Yes, definitely. Now, it's we're going to go ahead and take a, a break now because we've got so much great stuff to get to. Yes, we do. But we want to let you know the show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. Mm -hmm. It is that time to start thinking of your taxes. Let Classic Accounting take the stress out of doing your business payroll taxes. They're locally owned and operated. They have been since 1986. Schedule your business consultation today at 343-1040. And Sprague Sports is home of Yuma's only indoor shooting range, and they're your hunting and shooting headquarters. You can find them on 32nd Street next to Lowe's or Sprague's.com. That's right, and quick refrigeration, catch your Friday, and free, free filter, filter Friday. Friday. Taking your old air filter down to 190 West 10th Street, and they will give you a brand new standard one-inch air filter. Again, that's quick refrigeration at 190 West 10th Street. 
And Advocate Pest and Wildlife Services offers wildlife control like feral cat trapping, snake and skunk relocation, and pigeon extraction. And, you know, we were talking to Sandra yesterday, and it's not too late to take advantage of that uh, termite protection for one year for 125. Restrictions do apply, but definitely want to find them on Facebook or Instagram to get the details. That's right. And speaking of Advocate, we mentioned we had additional gift packs to give away today involving the mug and the gift certificate. Free service. I am looking for the first caller right now at 343-0993. That's 343-0993 right now. You have to be at least 18. For rules, visit monstermediayuma.com. Good luck. We'll be back after this. It's Today in Yuma. She's, gonna go to, she's in there, but I don't think she may give it away. Lisa, I have clip-ons. See? <laughs> but they don't stand up in my hair very well. Let's see. I can see it. We're going to have to make bigger ones. Yeah, we'll make bigger ones. So we use them for our microphone. Does it get any cuter than that? I know, right? Yeah, those headbands, I wear them for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm like, oh, I'm done. I saw that some of the guys were here. I'm going to follow you, because I can. Left me alone. What is that about? I'm not very entertaining. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you guys are settled. Do your thing. Share your knowledge. You're going to get serenaded in there. I know, I told him, go ahead and sit in there. I'll come over there when I'm done with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, just do it. Monica is a winner. That's a good price. Yeah. Was it the, the first caller? Yeah, first caller. <laughs> so as soon as the phone started working? Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> otherwise, we have to sit there and answer and answer and answer. But nobody would have yeah, <laughs> uh, had a signal before that anyway. Caller one, try again. <laughs> caller two, try again. <laughs> She, we do have clip-ons, Lisa. Yeah. Did, did you tell her? Yeah, yeah I told her. But um, they kind of get hidden in our hair because our hair is kind of. We need fluffy. to make bigger ones. I think if we, she, she's in. A, she says she'll oh, make them, but I'll make them bigger. Yeah. Years ago, we did a huge promotion. It's probably close it's to about eighteen weird. years now. Yeah. See, pull okay, it way wait, down. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. There you go. Oh, perfect. Okay. Right there. If it keeps moving, that would be fantastic. <laughs> well, I was I'll, saying I'll yesterday, it forces you to sit up straight. Yeah. There you go. No, I think for this big contest we did, we were taking qualifiers, and they had to be the 93rd caller. <gasps> oh, oh, 72. We're 93.1. How did we even oh do that? Do you, do you, 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 you say it in your car, two, try again, caller, two, try again, caller, two, try again. Yeah. It's actually, it's oh actually harder. It's like an exercise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, look at the muscle. We have multiple lines, and there's times when I'm like, caller one, down, down the line, back up to the top. It's actually easier just one line at a time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just tell them what color they are. Yeah. Hang up. Yep. Hang up. Sorry, Sorry yeah. try again. Sorry, Sorry. Sorry try again. Like, you Sorry, try again. I have never in my life heard, because I listen to you every morning on the way to work, but then seen last time we were here, multitasking. <laughs> 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 multitasking. And this is what we do all day long. Yeah. We all wear many hats. There's only it's there's only five of us. Here we're, and we're trapping feral cats. And we're trapping feral cats. I heard that cats. yesterday. I heard that yesterday too. Do you want to come to our office? Because we've got a problem. Yeah, yeah, you guys are close to the society there. Yeah, just tell them what that will draw them off. All right, for their All right are we ready? Yep. For their alteration. For yeah. their alterations. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. And we have Savor Fresh Country Store back with us today for the second appearance. I'm going to have you each introduce yourselves. My name is Milas Russell. Hi, Milas. Good morning. I'm Tracy Berger. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Well, welcome back. Thank you. So Thank we you. had you on before um, just to kind of talk about the, the Savor Fresh store or the country store so mm -hmm. that you can kind of give our uh, listeners an idea of what was to come. Now the time has come. It is here. 
So <laughs> let, yeah. let our listeners know what's going to be going on. So we're going to open officially uh, this Monday. The 8th? The 8th. All right. Uh-huh. Uh, it's going to happen. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's roughly like three months too late, but it's going to happen. It's it's <laughs> it done. looks good. The best things are worth the wait, right? Yes, okay. exactly. So uh, the office got to try everything yesterday, and everyone really liked it. And, you know, the, the main goal is for us to have a fresh fare that's fast. Mm-hmm. And and that's I think we've accomplished it. Um, and it's, it's really good. The, the meat's really tender. The sandwiches are fantastic, and so uh, we think that it's really good, and it aligns with our company of, of being a farm and fresh and local, and it's everything that that encapsulates. And I, I love my list that you say that it can be fresh yeah. and and fast mm-hmm. because uh, you know that's pretty much a misnomer just because of how fast food has changed exactly. the landscape in the in the last oh my goodness even thirty years. And but you look at how things have evolved anymore, even the last couple of years with technology yes. and the ease of ordering different things. But some people think, well, I'm just going to have to. It's it's easy. I'm going to settle for it. I know it's not good for me, but now there's an alternative. There is, Yay. and it's fresh. And and so you know, for instance, like our coleslaw, it's it's made in house. There's no mayonnaise, so it's very healthy, very fresh. It's 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 like a fresh salad on the sandwich. Mm-hmm. And are these like top secret recipes? Uh, they are. <laughs> and, and you have to you have to speak with my mother about it. <laughs> She's not going to give them up. No. So, no, no, no. So, kind of explain to everybody what exactly you're going to have in the in the uh, store. Do you want to do that? Sure. Well, the, we're going to have tri-tip sandwiches, um, mm-hmm. pollo asado, which is phenomenal. Tasted it yesterday, and um, in addition to what Milas was saying with the the flavor and the taste, the seasonings that Diana has come up with for this meat and mm-hmm. the chicken is phenomenal. I have never tasted this pollo asado with this seasoning. They marinate it the night before and then they season it and it's phenomenal. You, I, our offices are about you know a block and a half away. Our, our administrative office yeah. is from the store. I could smell everything. <laughs> oh, that's torture yes, though. Yes, it was. Like, that's gotta be torture. <laughs> so it was, it's just, it's amazing the, the flavor and the seasonings. Um, we're gonna have fresh wraps Ooh. with the tri-tip and the, the pollo asado, mm-hmm. fresh salads. And then um, the thing I'm most excited about, I have to say, is the cold-pressed juices. Yes. I am a juice fanatic, and <laughs> especially after this new year, I after eating all the unhealthy stuff over the holidays, <laughs> there's really nothing better than just having a day or a couple days of just juice fasting. I feel so much better and so much different. And mm-hmm. with these juices, you can do that. You can take just one day out of your week and just drink these juices. They're phenomenal. The beet boost and the garden greens, they're unbelievable. Yes. And I have to say, I, um, one, I'm one of those people that if it tastes like it came from the soil, I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> and these juices are not that. They're the flavors that Diana has, uh, you know, the recipes she's come up with and the flavors that are in these juices, the ginger, the mint, the cucumber, phenomenal. I can't say enough about them. I'm a, I, I already told him I'm going to buy half the amount. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. There you go, Myla. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we hired her. <laughs> to get rid of our inventory. Exactly. <laughs> and, and it's just nice to have something like that in Yuma. Oh, absolutely. I think Yuma needs that. Now, for the, the juices, what type of shelf life do they have? So, could, I mean, how far in advance could I stock up? Well, that is the thing. They um, Three to five days at the max because okay. they are all natural, cold-pressed in the store. Yeah, in we the don't store. send them out. They're not being cold-pressed elsewhere. We're doing everything in the country store. So, But we will um, have an expiration date on the bottles. But from the time we make it until it, it needs to be consumed is a maximum of five days. Now, explain that cold-pressing to somebody who may not. I know you explained it last time, but somebody who may not be aware of mm-hmm. the benefits of the cold-pressing. So cold press allows you to create a juice without boiling it or losing any of the nutrients mm-hmm. that are in the vegetables or the fruit. And so what we do is we actually take all the ingredients for the juice and we put them in a mesh bag and we have a hydraulic press that literally just presses the, the contents wow. together. And after four or five times, then you get enough juice that comes out the bottom. And that's, that's the great thing about it is that it's all-encompassing Everything that's in the juice is there. There's I was going to say, so later. the batch go, basically goes into one bag all together, all the different yes. fruits and melons and things. Yes. And then you press them together. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. 
I mean, and you you brought us some of the melon mm-hmm. drinks we did. before when you guys were here. We did. And to me, that was a bottle with the taste of summer in it. You mm-hmm. know, a lot of people just think of summer watermelon and cantaloupe and different mm-hmm. things. We're fortunate that you, you guys grow a lot of that in the area here. Yeah, we do. And you just you shake it up because you have all that natural, mm-hmm. you know, it's all the natural stuff in there. But it was it was really good. And, and I know that, you know, a lot of people like, you know, like yourself, you said, you know, the juicing is, is a big thing now. And you're doing all the work for them. <laughs> you're exactly. Right. You and it's fresh. You don't have to buy a hydraulic press. Yeah. Exactly. So it's great. <laughs> <laughs> just come get, you know, the variety that we offer. Keep them in your fridge and do a one-day juice. And you, mm-hmm. you, it, you have the variety so you're not getting sick of it. I see. And it's, they all taste. They all have their own phenomenal taste. Now, Jen mentioned the melons. The melons are special in their own right. Those are those are things that you guys grow right here. We do. The Kiss yeah. Melons. They are Kiss Melons. And so what our family does is we procure seed varieties from around the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, we do test trials throughout every year. Sometimes we'll trial up to 10,000 different varieties. Wow. And we take what tastes best. Our company is about flavor. We're... we're we're not about a, a quantitative experience. We're about a qualitative experience. And so with that flavor allowed us to do things like the juice. And it's, it's really good for our retail customers like a Walmart or so because you have the whole melons in the store. And then when you go to the juice section, we have that brand continuity that is now in the juice. But, you know, for the country store, it's a really good way for us to launch locally because unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of local exposure. No. Mm-hmm. We sell to a lot of national retailers, and it's unfortunate that we don't have the local exposure, but I think that this platform with the country store gets us that exposure for humans. It sure does. Well, you mentioned all the different types that you kind of do trials on and then mm-hmm. have to taste test for the best things. Who are your taste testers? Uh, it's a panel of three people. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Are two of them sitting right here? Uh, <laughs> one of them is. <laughs> so what we do is, uh, you know, a lot of varieties that we grow, it's in the, the first year of trials mm-hmm. with the seed company. And so they're looking to see, does it doesn't even make a melon? And so uh, what we do is we go to more the end of that uh, trial, and we're looking for the flavor. So the, the person who pushes the flavor and our gatekeeper of flavor is my mother. And, I mean, she loves melons. Her license plate says melones. (laughs) Everything about her. I mean, she's a a second-generation farm labor contractor. Um, She's she's phenomenal at this. And my mom has been really good at picking up what flavors work well together. And that has really boosted our company because, one, there's not a whole lot of women in the industry Mm -hmm. or who are making executive decisions, especially on flavor. And fruit in general is a discretionary purchase. You don't go buy fruit because it's uh, soup. Mm -hmm. You buy fruit because you want to buy it at the store and you think that that's going to taste good for your family. And that's the need that our company is trying to fulfill. Well, we mentioned before the the shelf life for the juices, three to five days. Mm -hmm. What are your hours there? Because if I get something and I, I need to restock, what's the availability for me to go do so? We are going to be open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Sunday, we are closed. Okay. So those are our hours. All right. And the same thing will apply to the the food? If I want to come purchase the tri-tip sandwiches? Yeah. Yes. Or, oh, great. So we're going to start doing, we start, we fire up the barbecue early in the morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, it takes a couple hours to get ready. And, uh, you know, everything we do at the store is, is open. We are fully candid. You see us, you know, chopping the cabbage and making the coleslaw. You can go see the meat being grilled. It's out in the parking lot. There is nothing behind a closed wall. Mm -hmm. So everything you see at our restaurant is candid. All right, Milas, where can they go see this restaurant? (laughs) You can see it uh, at the (laughs) parking lot. It's across from the Marine Base on 3E. So uh, 3939 South Avenue 3E. Is that the Alarcon Plaza? It is the Alarcon Plaza. So uh, past Jack in the Box, do not go there. (laughs) And go straight to the the same impression. Do not pass, go. Keep on going. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) And and, and I'm sure it's easy to find. I mean, if you're from the Yuma area, you can see it right there. Yeah, absolutely. We're right behind the Chevron. Um, It used to be where Brown Bag Burger was uh, 10, 15 years ago. Right. And so, uh, yeah, that's what. And we're your your administrative office is right down the the sidewalk. There. Yes. Mm-hmm. So whatever someone wants to say something about our food, they can talk to the owners. Whatever they want to do. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> it's just a walk on the other side of the complex. I mean, you you guys are so so fortunate, especially you, Tracy, because you can smell it from where you're at. Yes. We have a, 
a date farm not too far from us, and they fertilize it, and we, that's what we get to smell. <laughs> yeah, we don't get Hard to that. smell <laughs> delicious <laughs> fried chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, if you want to come hang out with me, you're I, think, <laughs> I, think I'm, I don't live too far. That's why I was asking about the hours too, because mm-hmm. I live kind of close by, and that'd be a great little Saturday stop yes. to stock up on everything because. A lot of times I have to mute the TV so people can juice different things in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, so let them do the work. I'm going to let you do the work. That way my TV is uninterrupted. Exactly. Yeah. Again, that grand opening is this Monday, January 8th. Give the times again. Is it 10? 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday, closed on Sunday. Sounds good. Perfect. And they can find you guys on social media, too. Yes. yes Tracy's done a phenomenal yes. job uh, with social media. Thank you. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. That sounds Say, good. At, it's at Savor Fresh country store. All right. I tagged you guys in our little pre-show promo this morning, so (laughs) I found it, and you can too. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Our guests today, Milas Russell and Tracy Berger, they are here with Savor Fresh Country Store. We want to thank you both for coming back. Yes, thank you. can't wait for the grand opening. I see a field trip in our future. Yes. 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 I see (laughs) 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 All right. We are going to take our Lotus Day Sponsor Lawn selfie with Tracy and Milas out in the courtyard. This is Today in Yuma on Z93 Outlaw Country Monster Media, Yuma.com. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with Foodylicious Janice. The show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. They are a locally owned and operated full-service accounting firm. They do taxes, payroll, and bookkeeping. Let them help your business. Call 343-1040. And Sprague Sports is Yuma's hunting and shooting headquarters. They're family-owned and operated since 1956. You can find them at Sprague's.com or on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And quick refrigeration. It is free filter Friday. Just take in your old air filter. It's really important that you change those on a regular basis. Take it down to their office at 190 West 10th Street. They will give you a brand new standard one inch air filter. That's Quick Refrigeration. You can find out more at getcoolquick.com. And Advocate Pest and Wildlife Services have been serving, servicing the Yuma area for over 20 years. They're licensed with the Arizona Game and Fish Department for safe, humane wildlife relocation. And don't forget to take advantage of that $125 uh, special for termite protection. And it is limited time, I, you know, but it is still going on, so you have a little bit of time. You can find them on Facebook or on Instagram. And we have another giveaway right now. It's the other Advocate Pest and Wildlife gift pack that includes the gift certificate for service, the mug, the chapsticks, and other little goodies in there, plus these delicious cookies from Cass Reed. All you need to do, be the second caller right now at 928-343-0993. Prize pack valued at $90. You have to be at least 18 to win. Visit MonsterMediaYuma.com for details. All right. Wait, give her a hurry. Right, right. Let me right. take, call her real we'll take our selfie. <laughs> it almost would be easier to just say who's not the boss. I know, right? <laughs> At least it's the second caller, not the 93rd. Oh. <laughs> There's time, and the, like my, I usually will pick like a seven because I, I like seven. seven That's a good numbers. number. But then after like having to answer the phone, I'm like, okay, like one or two, maybe no. three if you're lucky. But after that, it's like. <laughs> She already got the call. Good like morning, David. Called. Yeah, she did. <laughs> you should have called. I should have called from in there. Right? Yeah. yeah. You should have. That's like, great. I'm over 18. <laughs> I could have won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never a dull moment. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> never. It's like a... I, we were talking yesterday. You you didn't hear this, but you were like, we should have Thursday night comedy night yes. at the store. Yes. <laughs> Featuring oh, karaoke. Oh, yeah. Oh, karaoke. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we do uh, we do infused vodka. And so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we actually found out that that location, we can infuse the vodka in the in the country store. Really? Oh, sorry. Right here. We're going to face that way. So we don't now I know why he likes doing uh, karaoke in Thursday Smile. comedy night. Maybe not. Sorry. <laughs> he has the infused vodka. That's why. He he's able to do his Thursday Thursday night copy night because they have the infused vodka. Yeah. Oh, that's coming next year. Infused vodka. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's gonna be a crazy country. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 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 Congratulations. Yes. We'll try and make it out there, okay? Thank okay. You. All right. It'll be like Thank Christmas. Thank you. Food. <laughs> 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 More vodka. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Thank you. In a minute. In a half. I have three room. I moved them over to the conference room. Okay. So they have more room and they can okay. have snacks and stuff. And good morning, David. 
I didn't make anything today. Did you say my winner? What do you want to say? Uh, it's this. It doesn't want to stay tight. No. <laughs> I know people did are talking make, and then they go like this. Did you make anything for uh, New Year's? There we go. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Or a new recipe I want. Okay. Meatball pie. Okay. It looks yummy. I got all the stuff. We did, um, it sounds similar. It was a meatball casserole, uh -huh. but it used French bread. And you're, you layered French bread on the bottom and the top. I would just do the top because the bottom layer gets like mushy. Well, yeah, I did not is, like that. This oh, one's like a, be here like a deep dish uh, pizza before. kind of. Okay. Okay. You put a pie crust in the bottom. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. I'm Teresa. And I'm food delicious. Yeah. Yummy! <laughs> You made me laugh every time. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're on cue we're on every yes. time. <laughs> I'm just not used to having backup singers. <laughs> you know, some people try and try and they just can't get that down. It's just right for us, just right there off the cuff. Yes. <laughs> well, and that's not even us on the commercial. No. <laughs> no I, and everybody thinks it is us. And I'm like, no, it's not me. And they're like, do it. I'm like, it's not me. But you know how to do it, though. I do. <laughs> I do. And that was funny. Um, I didn't, I had just brought in breakfast snacks this morning because of our... Uh, secret appearance we're alluding to for later <laughs> so I, I didn't want to like have my food overstage certain people no just <laughs> um but at new year's eve because that just came by we went to some friend's house and hung out and their kids um i hadn't met their kids and they're older and stuff and they kept coming in the kitchen and the one the younger one he kept mumbling something every time he goes by and and about the third time i said wait what did you, what did you say and he said yummy <laughs> and he said, yummy. And he said, you just keep saying that? So then all of the kids said it, and they said, yeah, we hear you all the time. And my mom said you were coming over, and we're like, yummy is? And like, yes, <laughs> so, it was yummy. Well, that's a good way to be referred to as, you know, <laughs> yummy. What they were just doing all night, it was hilarious. <laughs> that is cute. Well, because we have you here, I do have a, a story that just came in, because it does apply to cooking. There was a fire last night, a residential oh, no. fire after 11 o'clock, and we want to talk about the importance of you know, responsibility in the kitchen. The home was in the 3400 block of South Don Carlos Road. I have no idea where that's at. But the resident had been heating a pan of oil on the stove and left the kitchen for a short time. Same exact thing happened to me. I would put water right I, I, no, no, no. I Yeah, they did. No, they put water, they, they, which they, totally spreads it. Don't that's put generally water. what people do, but for my fire... I knew not to do that, but I was trying my best at making some newlywed, newlywed fried chicken for my husband. <laughs> so I thought, okay, you would throw salt or baking something, soda. baking powder, baking soda. One of those. <laughs> you I just want to flour or coffee grounds. Well, I was trying to add quickly, so I thought I'm going to throw my dry batter on it because that's got salt and other stuff in it. Well, all that, that did was just that, that made a mess. But see, I had a <laughs> skillet with a wooden handle. And the handle caught fire, and then it jumped up and caught my cabinets on fire. <gasps> and I, thank goodness, I had the uh, kitchen door open, and there was a screen door onto the patio, and my neighbor had seen the smoke coming out. So she already called the fire department. I grabbed the water hose and bring it in and try and put it <gasps> out. But no, it, it, it was a mess. It was a mess. And when the wonderful firefighters from Yuma, Yuma Fire Department left, they uh, one chuckled and said, next time, go to KFC. <laughs> And we were moving because it was a rental. No um, wonder you don't cook anymore. That's, I rarely make fried chicken either. Um, I was still finding little caked on pieces of the floury oh, mixture wow. stuck various places around that stove. Wow. So, um, yes, thank goodness there were no injuries in this situation, but attentiveness is the most important thing. Do not leave any cooking fires unattended. And I, if I can wrap myself out on this... Even for the longest time, my I, my mom would call and she said, "What are you doing? I'm cooking." She's like, "Fried chicken," and that was like the joke <laughs> of my family forever. You, you and you're, it's gonna be forever, just like mine was the um, it wasn't a fire, but when the orange chicken and added the more baking soda instead of the flour because oh. I was told that could work. No, they were just like that was sizzle chicken. <laughs> like when you ate it, it just kind of foamed in your mouth. Ew. And and they were like, so now they still if I say, oh, orange chicken, they're like. Mm. I'm like, not that orange chicken. Well, see, one, one of my big concerns is I never want to undercook chicken. And my mom had showed me how over the years, she said, and, you know, it'll flow. If you're cooking it in a deep fryer or a skillet with, with oil, you know, it'll float up and you can see ripples. And she told me, she said, that's how you can tell when it's done. 
Well, I still, even when I use my George Foreman grill, tend to overcook it because I, I don't mind dry chicken. I'd rather err on the side Just of caution. Just get a thermometer. Get a thermometer. I, I know, but one in the drawer right there. I check all the time. My, my son will laugh so hard, and he's like, Just when, when you think it's done, you usually cook it about 45 minutes longer. <laughs> said, so, so you have to have a beverage with it to wash it down. Yeah, so you don't want that. that Just use a thermometer. Or it stop, makes the world a difference. Or, or stop easy. by 251 Twisted Kitchen downtown and get their delicious salad that I like with chicken on it. <laughs> you don't have to worry about any fires. There fire. you go. <laughs> or or, or crockpot chicken, because I like that. Yeah. Oh, this morning I threw in um, a pork roast with a can of red enchilada sauce and mm -hmm. a can of chipotle adobe sauce. So we'll see how that comes out. We'll Spicy. Like, uh, chili, Colorado. The kids like hot, so. With tortillas, or how's that, how's that going to uh, work out? Oh, there's corn tortillas there and probably Spanish rice. Mm. And that way they can, I know there will be a couple children be like, corn tortillas, because, you know. That's what I had. spoiled, but they're better for yes, you. Yes, they are. I had la that last night, that and I took fun. some of my crock pot chicken. I sauteed some red and orange peppers, and then I added the chicken in. And I cooked it on a higher heat because I wanted a little bit more of a char on the vegetables. And the chicken, I just diced up the crock pot chicken. I wanted it in there and then I had it on corn tortillas. It was well, really that good. That sounds yeah. yummy. It does. It sounds really good. Someone said, my family says I like my meat dead and then dead again. <laughs> no, I <laughs> could not. We were having this argument over the weekend about how you cook your steak. Well and done. No, no, you do not. That's well jerky. Well done. No, it is not. That's it doesn't jerky. Have, it doesn't have to be dry. Um, but well done meat is generally not as moist. It yeah, it's not. not as moist. It is but if you smother it in steak sauce. <laughs> There's your moisture. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, my my son and my husband are cringing right now because they both like theirs medium well. Jace te lean, leans a little bit towards medium rare if he's trying to achieve certain dietary things with whatever. Well, I like stuff medium he rare. Does. It tastes good. <laughs> no, I, and you know, I I like my my steak well done, but I don't mind a little bit of pink in there. A little bit. Yeah, but that's medium well. That's yeah. Once you been, went past medium, it's just wasted. No. No, well it's, yeah, no. it's a matter of opinions, and opinions are like other things. <laughs> Kitchen fires? Yes. <laughs> we don't all have one. <laughs> all right. Well, all do right. you have a winner for our I do. drawing this week? Speaking this week, of 251, our winner for yeah, their $25 gift certificate is Kelly Fleck. Congratulations, Ooh. Kelly. So I'll give her a call after the show. Let me know when you'd like me to meet you for lunch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've been, th I've been craving it. I, I'm really wanting one of their uh, tri-tip sandwiches with some mac and cheese. Well, I want to go try the enchilada-style breakfast burrito because oh. now that it's not enchilada sauce and I found out it's gravy. It yes, it's sauce so is gravy. She raved about it. So. It was delicious. And I, my, my husband and I shared it because it was a lot, but oh my goodness. And their, their uh, hash browns are perfect. And it's inside the burrito. Oh, it's delicious. How early are they open? I think nine. Okay. I, can I was going to go quick. run by this morning before work, but I didn't think it was early enough that I could get it before okay. our show well, started. Well, I know um, I saw their post a little bit ago. Um, you were there kind of brunchish time. Well, I, I, yeah. it was like it was 10 o'clock when I went um, the other last week. Um, and I had a business meeting there a couple weeks ago, and I met with that. It, it, again yesterday and they said oh can we go back there because I need some more of their spinach arch <laughs> it opens at 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah. Oh, perfect. And, and just so you know I saw their post a little bit ago um, they are actually going to be providing the breakfast burritos for the coca Paw corner starting Monday after 5 a.m. they'll have three different varieties there. very cool if you're heading out that way or coming in from that direction I know a lot of our, our, our breakfast yeah uh, agricultural workers and things like that will be out in that area so now they'll mm -hmm. have a delicious option a lot there. Of people that might work out of the prison or yeah. out over that way very good well all right you too can win um, you can enter to win a $25 gift certificate to 251 twisted kitchen just by going to Janice's foodie delicious page at monster MediaYuma.com. Sign right. up now. Yeah, for next week. We do. We have our winners from our earlier our earlier contest for the Advocate Pest and Wildlife Gift Pack. Brad and Monica. Ooh, they congratulations. will be coming down to pick up their prize packs. And don't forget, we have one more, and it's part of our Cash Shirt Friday prize. Mm -hmm. We've got that. We have your Catherine's Cupcakery gift certificate, free oil change from FTS Automotive, our Facebook Live sponsor, tickets to the Tom Petty Tribute Tonight at Coke Poxino, and a gift certificate from Oriental House. So lots of fun stuff in that. We want to see your pet photos. Yes, we do. Are, and are those cookies for humans or pets? They're for humans. They're humans. Human cookies. Say, my, my dogs would be jealous because that is a fancy cookie. I, I wonder <laughs> if they're, they're from Cass Reed. I wonder if she also makes pet treats. We'll we will inquire. Her. She yeah, does beautiful work. No kidding. That is. That doesn't really even nice. look like it's frosting. 
All right. Well, you. Oh, no. Oh, I have one next door. You can try one. She brought me one. I don't want it if it's not a cat biscuit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> real quick, I want to um, throw a shout out real quick. There is going to be a benefit car wash tomorrow. Um, Big TZ over uh, on the spot detailing him and his crew are going to be doing a benefit car wash at, for the Duran family. Uh, unfortunately, they lost one of the one of their um, sons. sons, Jason Duran, passed away last week. And the Duran family has been a part of the community for a long time. Um, and uh, Big TZ and his uh, crew are going to be doing a benefit car wash at the actual El Zarape um, parking lot right next door to the restaurant um, tomorrow, January 6th, 9 a.m. until uh, the car stops showing up. <laughs> and that's right off of 8th Street, isn't it's it? It's right off of 8th Street, and I believe it's 20th Avenue. Um, you can't miss it. Uh, you just look for the giant banner out front. Yes. They, they uh, put up a banner. It's just the, the sweetest thing, the outpouring of concern and love from the community. I mean, Yuma, we're completely unique in that respect. We, yes. we definitely uh, love and look out for our own Again, our, our utmost condolences to the Duran family. Yes, and that's definitely. a perfect area, too, because you're right by that car wash, kind of. So don't go there. Just no, go across just the street go across and go get street. it for charity. And, and sit down and have some lunch because their food is delicious. <laughs> See, it's all about food today. It's, it's all, all about, about always about food. food what are you about? The world revolves around food. <laughs> and Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> We're going to take a break here. We will be back with the Cryptones here on Today in Yuma on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com. Don't forget. Facebook Live, courtesy of FTS Automotive. We'll be back after the break. It only went up once during the <laughs> <laughs> see me, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll tie a rock on this so in. So much better posture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's burn it back down, people. Can I fix that mic? Excuse me? Because I thought maybe they were, because it was cat yeah, in front of me, they were dog biscuits. Oh, okay. Sure. All right. Sandra, I need some cat biscuits for Friday. Not vitamins. It tastes gross. <laughs> okay. Since we a dare's a dare, is that what you said? A dare's a dare. They said, eat, try that vitamin biscuit. Right. I said, no way. I'm they said, I dog, double stuff. dog dare you. I said, okay. Not too bad. Tastes like wheat jerk. It don't matter. They leave the same spot. They leave the same spot. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. She was scared. <laughs> it's Cat Shirt Friday. You guys want cat ears? Yeah. Cat ears? No, I'm okay. I'm I'll just rock Isaac it. said yes. Let him okay. pick. Yeah, pick me some. Dang, this is so like. I'm a real life filter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real life filter. <laughs> You're going to pick fancy ones? Fancy ones. <laughs> I gotta tame that hair. I can't even see it over your hair. Nobody knows that you're like. They see you. You guys are on Facebook Live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's see. 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 let us see 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 let
forgot to print the flyer. Like, a smarty, but it's okay. Ready? Yep. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Strong. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive oh, Facebook right. Live feed. If you are watching us right now, you'll notice we have a few extra bodies in the studio here today. Yes, and they are no stranger to the station. Um, no, they it. are one of our lo original local monsters. Um, they've actually been supporting our local monster programs from the very beginning. So we want to welcome the Crook Tone Classics. We have Ed Eddie, Eric, and Isaac get with us this morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So you guys have something special going on today. Yeah, today's our, uh, our official CD release. It's going to be done at the Element. And, and then that's going to be tonight at what time? Uh, starts at 9 o'clock. It starts at 9 o'clock. And you guys are playing with uh, another one of our local monsters, too. Yeah, we have our uh, local, uh, local favorites, uh, Maple Street, and then we have Unitree coming from... The Riverside area. Sounds good. Now you guys have, um, how long have you guys been a band? I, I know that you guys um, were under a different name before, but you guys have been playing together for a long time. Yeah, we've been playing together for a real long time. It's been a lot of years now, but Crickton Classics is, uh, is a good solid like three years now. Good, good. Who came up with the name? Uh, it was like a collective effort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I mean, good. Huh? We were just chilling. Just chill, just chill. We were just chilling. It, and, uh, it was actually Chase, uh, Chase Rosa's. Uh, oh, okay. He he uh, he came up with the kind of half of it, I guess, or something like that. To be honest, it was quite a quite a while back, but but he definitely yeah. took a big part of that. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, a lot of our listeners have um, probably seen. Of course, you guys have performed at all of our local monster events, but of course, you guys also played on our floats um, the huh. last two year for the um, the light parade. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's always a, that was always a great time for us. So, <laughs> anytime you ever want a band for your float, for you, you guys. You did Veterans Day with this year before last, and yeah. both light parades. Yes, that's okay. right. Okay, yeah. yeah. right. so it's, yeah. it's the the trifecta as far as the light parade. It was yeah. it was probably weird. It was the first time you played on something that moved. The yeah. the Veterans Day parade yeah. was yeah. Well, that, that was the trailer that was angled. It was yeah. slanted. So. Yeah, that was the uh, that was uh, yeah, like that. that was the beta run. And, and that's, so, <laughs> that's so disconcerting because you're not even flat, but you're moving and you're trying to do something. Rhythm rhythmically. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and I think you guys have got it down after this third time. I think this last time around, we were we were we have a rhythm going down. And my favorite part is definitely after the parade and playing all the way back. <laughs> all to right, the toe, yeah, you, know? down, uh, you, down you down work street. a crowd all yes, the way back to back to our, our starting point. Now, Mark Cantwell, another local monster, says, "All right, made it to see you guys." <laughs> uh, <all right. laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, you guys have been working on this album for a while. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Uh, and I have to say, as one of your uh, followers, it's uh, we've been waiting patiently, <laughs> patiently and patiently waiting for um, this to come out. So definitely something um, that you guys don't want to miss. Again, you guys have your album release party um, tonight at the Ailment starting at 9 o'clock. Now, they'll be able to get a hard copy there, but the music is already out digitally, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can find it digitally on all your favorite go-to music spots, you know, iTunes, Google Play. Uh, it's on YouTube. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. on Pandora too. And yeah, we're, Ooh, we're working on getting our own Pandora, Pandora station. station. So. I'm excited. I'm going to have my own. Like, I already have everything. <laughs> Why do I need a Pandora station? Because it, of my own. It, <laughs> like, yeah, right. that's, but that's, you know, there's a lot of people out there that may that's not crazy. have your music, or you know, it's just another easy way for somebody to have. Do to I have thumbs up my own yeah, song? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, thumbs up your own song. Yes, yes. <laughs> thumbs up your own song. <laughs> plus, yeah. plus, that way, if it's someone who's brand new to your music and they're finding this album, they're like, oh, I want to know what else they have out there. Yeah, then they exactly. can go back yeah, and find exactly. older stuff. Now, how many different tracks can we expect to see on the new album? Uh, it's nine tracks. Um, it's it's about a half an hour long, so it's it's a good listen, you know. Mm -hmm. And you guys, through. you guys have a nice variety. You know, you have mm -hmm. a little bit of reggae in there. You have a little bit of Mexican music in there. Kind of give us a. <laughs> you have a little bit of. Uh, it's kind of inspired by a lot of different types. Yeah, well, that's that's because that's R the way we are as musicians. Mm -hmm. You know, we get our inspiration from everywhere. So. And do you, is there a certain genre that you classify yourself under? Uh, we like to think that we fall under the reggae category, but. Our music extends far beyond reggae and, and Jamaican styles of music. So, 
Definitely. All right. Well, you know, we have been featuring you. We've featured you multiple times here on MonsterMediaYuma.com. You guys are, have been the local monsters, and we've been featuring you all week with your single Reach Me. Um, you, can oh, go to, <laughs> you can go to MonsterMediaYuma.com and click on the local monster tab, and there you'll find all of their information, their uh, digital links, so you can find them on social media. You can listen to Reach Me in its entirety because we only play a couple minutes of it. We want to kind of entice you to go find all of the extra stuff that we have there for you. You can find all their pictures, the flyer for tonight's event. And, you know, yeah, definitely you want to go there. Um, like you guys have been a part of the community for a long time, and I think people are used to used to hearing you guys now. So you got the new music, so we want to get out to the ailment this evening and support you guys. And it starts at 9? starts at 9 o'clock. No cover. No cover. It's no a cover. Free show. And you yeah. have to be 21 and older. Yeah, it is 21 and older. 21 and older. That's a good deal. Get on out and get yeah. a copy of that. Could I get it signed? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> okay. You gonna have shirts there? Yes, yes we will I have, needed shirts. We I've will have merch. Uh, we'll have shirts. We have a few hats and beanies and stickers. So there if, there, will be... if there was a cat on it, we could wear one every Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I think we can make it. I'm happen. looking at the logo. We could put whiskers. Yeah, we can make it happen. Yeah. The, the <laughs> double O and crook could be the eyes. Yeah. I'll, I'll make it happen. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> so, are you guys going to play a little something for our listeners? Um, well, so, what we're going to do is, if you guys um, didn't tune into the beginning of the show, um, hopefully these guys will play us out as we go to commercial break. We'll get everything set up outside, and then we'll do a little instrumental, acoustic style uh, performance for you guys out in the courtyard. And we'll, we'll continue that on Facebook Live because yes. the show ends on Z93 in Outlaw Country right at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. But we want to give you the opportunity to hear a little bit. Are they going to play something right now, too? Yeah, I think so. All right. Oh, okay. I, think, I think you might need that guitar over there. <laughs> I tried really hard not to kick it. I don't know if it's in tune. Does it play a chord? Yes. <laughs> You guys can hear me though, right? Let's yes, move. you're good. You got reverb, compression. Do you hear that? EQ? Nah. <laughs> no, I can hear you. Do you want it? That's good. So. We don't even try. She don't seem to mind. The way you make me feel. I don't even know what to do. Even when it's cold. Even when it's hot down bad. Even when the sun won't shine and the rain won't stop But we're always moving on We keep moving on We keep moving on now, baby We keep moving on Come on I said now reach me If you know how to reach me We'll be in so good, babe I said now reach me if you know how to reach me, you'll be so good. It's the morning version. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank y'all. Even in the morning, even through the night, I love it when you're sober. I love it when you're high. Oh, oh, oh I we understand it. I'm so that girl. We don't need no sort of blame I said, so watch me go Did you really want me coming back? Did you really want me coming over? Did you really want me to stay? Did you really want me to stay? Reach me, baby If you know how to reach me, will be Thank you, Yuma. Reach yourself. Yeah. Woo -hoo! guys so much yeah, and it's yeah. funny because normally when we've done the parades we're facing the opposite direction i know we actually get to see them <laughs> yeah, now i know who does what <laughs> <laughs> again that was the crook tone classics we will have uh, more of them to come later this morning here shortly once we get everything done here with the show we're going to have another little private session out in the courtyard so definitely encourage you to tune in to facebook live here shortly mark says these guys are awesome through butt and vengeance needs to do an acoustics <laughs> <laughs> 
Again, catch them tonight at the ailment with Maple Street and Unitree. 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 Uh, 21 and over, 9 o'clock is when it starts, and no cover. Head on over there. It's going to be a great event. Yes. But don't forget, just uh, stay tuned to my Facebook Live. We'll have more footage right after the show ends here. Yes. Now, we hope you all have a great weekend. A lot of stuff taking place. We have fantastic weather in store. Yes. Mid 70s, so sorry to Ravonda and Chanel and all those that might be watching. We're not bragging right now. No, 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 no. Because in the summertime, they're like, oh, it's 75 here. And we're like, shut up. So there, there you go. We, you know, if you're looking to do some traveling, give us the place to be right now. Definitely. And we'll come see you in August. <laughs> this is today in Yuma. Thank you so much for tuning in. Z93, Outlaw Country, Monster Media, Yuma.com, and the FTF, FTS Automotive Facebook live feed. Don't forget, get your Cat Shirt Friday entries by noon today. Text them to 928 343 Also, Phoenix Suns entries due by noon. Same number. Text the keyword SUNS for the four-pack of tickets to the game on the 12th versus the Rockets. We will see you right after this for the Facebook Live feed. Yeah. We'll be back here on air Monday at 9 o'clock on both Z93 and Outlaw Country, KCYK Yuma and KLJZ Yuma. All right, All right. A second. We'll get out there. That was fun. Look, you can work in small spaces. <laughs> and you just use a desk for a drum. I love it. Works. It works perfect. <laughs> Percussions everywhere. And the headphones sound like a real drum. Well, it's it different. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, it's got